local motor stage. During the local motor stage, toddlers practice and become proficient in their walking. Early walkers keep their feet wide apart and often hold their arms out for balance. Because of cephalocaudal development, their center of gravity is higher up on their bodies, making them top heavy and they fall easily. For example, at 14 months, this child is beginning to take a few hesitant steps. Parents and caregivers can put their arms out to encourage the child to take steps independently. They can also hold on to the child and take her for short walks. At nine months, this child is able to walk six to eight steps before losing its balance. Parents and caregivers can provide stable toys for young walkers to use as support. At one year, movements are much smoother. Parents and caregivers can provide clear level surfaces to walk across. At 14 months, this child walks proficiently and is able to walk around obstacles and maintain balance. In just a couple of short months, walking skills have improved dramatically. Toddlers can now walk quickly or run stiffly for a short distance, balance on their feet in a squat position while playing with objects on the floor, walk backwards without losing balance, and stand and kick a ball without falling. In a sitting position, we see that at five months, the child is leaning forward and needs support as trunk muscles are still developing. Parents and caregivers can sit behind the child providing support and toy bars with dangling objects that encourage the child to reach and sit upright. At nine months, the child is pulling itself into a standing position. Parents and caregivers can provide a variety of sturdy equipment to use for support. At 10 months, the child is adept at pulling up and beginning to let go and stand without support for short periods of time. The infant can be protected from injury when it falls by covering corners with guards and choosing carpeted surfaces to walk on.